ladies and gentlemen welcome back to combo clickers we are here for another gameplay video and obviously there has been a brand new update so there is now a pirate island and they will be updating the game once again because the game is about to reach 10 million plus visits so that's amazing GG's to combo clickers. This happens to be one of my new favorite clicking games out there. One of my new favorite ones. So in the description, it says new pirate egg and a new pirate secret pet. And they are also getting ready for the 10 mil update. So not much has been added, but they have changed a couple of the recipes inside of the altar. So I made a huge video about explaining, you know, what the altar is and how to get the pets from there and how to make the certain, you know, requirements appear, et cetera, et cetera. So as I told you guys, it is a repeat process. Now, this is something that a lot of other YouTubers that are not going to tell you in their videos, you have to repeat the same process. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So right now we have the dragons down here. So you need the purple dragon, the overseer, the adult red dragoling, the arch dragon, and the grand dragon in order to spawn yourself the mini shard of time. But this requires time. You have to keep going to the egg and hatching. Now. This is something that I'm also going to tell you guys as well. When you are hatching, each and every pet that you need for the summoning, lock one of those or maybe at least a few of them so that way you can be ahead of the altar. Now what I mean by that is, let's go into my inventory real quick. So as you guys can see, we have four of the mini shards of time. So now we'll be able to get another shard in today's video, and that's what we're going to do. We have two mini shards of eternity, one mini shard of power. Oh, no, we have two mini shards of power, two mini shards of eternity, and four mini shards of time. And then we have ourselves, let's see, did we use the other one already? Okay, so we used the other one. It was the mini shard of the future. So as you guys can see, I have the arch dragon, the adult redding, and the purple dragon already locked in. But as I said, I have multiples of them. Now, the reason why I locked in multiples is because, like I said, you're going to have to repeat the same process over and over. So basically, every time you go up to a egg, you're going to need the last legendary before, you know, that very hard, difficult one to get. You're going to need that legendary. So we're going to need the Grand Dragon again. Now we use the Grand Dragon in order to summon another mini shard of time. So now they took the items that was needed to make the shard. So they took away the two Grand Dragons. So that means now we have to go back up to the egg and hatch the Grand Dragon again. So I can show you guys in the chat, I actually hatched one, just one, but I hatched it and it was automatically taken away. So now I have to do that process again, but I'm ahead of the game. See, now I have the arch dragon, the redding, the purple. All I need to do now is hatch another grand dragon, but that's not going to be easy because it takes a very long time. You're going to have to keep hatching keep hatching keep upgrading keep mass deleting it's a very very annoying process now i wish they would just add like a cloning altar like how you have in ninja legends where if you hatch it just automatically clone it so it can make the process of the game a little bit easier same goes for the alien gang and all of the alien pets you need to hatch all of them and have them inside of your inventory so once you start hatching, you auto hatching, you fill up, lock in a couple of those pets and then mass delete and, you know, keep hatching. That way, once you get to the legendary pet that you need, you can head down to the altar 
and you can get the next shard. So right now we're going to get the next required shard. So I got four of these mini shards at a time. Now I don't know exactly what these are going to be down here, but we're probably going to need one of every single shard in order to make this final and last shard. If you guys have this final shard, let me know what the stats are, what the name is, and if you guys are, you know, better stat-wise player, also let me know how, you know, how, how much of a grind was it for you guys in this game to get these shards. Because a lot of people are saying that it's really easy to get them, and then there are others that kind of agree with me. The process is annoying, and it is a bit difficult to, you know, to hatch these legendaries even with the plus five times the secret luck and also the times two luck and then i have like times two luck over here somewhere yeah it's up here it's like i'm not getting enough luck you would have thought that i would have hatched more than one of these dragons but i literally been in this server for a hour and i only managed to hatch one and it's crazy but they gave us a upgrade in the um combo for the clicks, so now we're receiving times 80. They upgraded our pet inventory now, so now we can hold up to 340 pets. 341 for me because I have the pet cloning upgrade inside of the Rebirth Shop. So make sure you guys get all of your upgrades because they are upgrading certain ones. They have added more hat tiers, but it's gonna cost you guys one N in rebirths so i don't have enough for that as of yet right now i'm only in qu so we can summon this um shard right here because we have four of these but it only needs three so let's click on summon and as you guys can see something just unequipped from my equipped so now we have the big shard of time so let's take a look at that right there. So we had them equipped and it took it away. So now we have left one mini shard of time and then the bigger shard of time. 200 billion. What? That's so OP. Compared to these? That's crazy. Oh, that's so good and it's at a normal stat right there like I said this is this is the pets that I want to use to grind and I want to keep them but we're gonna have to sacrifice this soon I mean I guess it's good that I have some time with it right now <laughs> shard of time there's a pun in there all right so so now we have one two three four more shards and then we can summon this final one right here in which the information on the shards can be found in your discord server like i pointed out last time so make sure you guys join the discord server and get you know get ahead of the game with your secrets so mini shard of power we're gonna have to visit the villain egg and we're gonna have to hatch the thanos pet in there now we got everything else we got the low key we got the Nebula, the Ultron, but Thanos is going to be another tough hatch. We're going to have to keep repeating the same process over and over. Then same goes for the aliens up here as well. The cyborg alien is the legendary, so that's the main focus that you guys should be trying to get is the cyborg alien. Once you get all four of these, lock in a few of them because you're going to need three of these guys. You're going to need three of these mini shards of the future in order to summon your next um, shard. So as you guys can see down here, you're going to need three of them. And then you'll get the regular size shard of future. So 200 billion just for that one. Just imagine what the others are going to be worth. So let me, let me actually equip that and see what it looks like. Because it's not equipped. All right, so let's equip that bad boy right there. 
So once we go up to our highest training area, that should definitely help us with the rebirthing and everything like that and also reaching the next currency. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and also a very, very special happy birthday to Roblox. Roblox is officially claiming the age of 14 years old. So I want to know in the comment section also in this video or in the next video, how old do you guys think Roblox is officially? Because if they're 14, that means Roblox came out in 2006. But according to the players that have been here since the beginning of time, people have been stating that Roblox was out in 2004. So if it was out in 2004 and it's now 2020, ladies and gentlemen, that would make Roblox 16 years old. So do you think Roblox is lying about their age? Or do you think that Roblox considers themselves to be 14 and they pretty much solidify the fact that Roblox became a official thing in 2006 and maybe in 2004 it was just a you know, like a side project, some type of idea. And then they finalized that idea in 2006 and launched the release of Roblox. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you in the next video. These shards, they're beautiful and they're going to take a lot of work. <laughs> I look so weird in my outfit, but damn, that thing is massive. So I understand why they call these the minis, and this is just the normal size one. That's crazy right there.